welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to be talking about something very important and it is what is my skincare routine Ooh, I'm finally revealing the secret the secret is that I do not have a skincare routine which doesn't mean I don't take care of my skin I actually do have one little trick and I don't know okay so before oh my god okay before I get into this video something you should know is that everybody has different skin types most of the times it's genetic a lot of what your parents went through with their skin or your grandparents is what will usually happen with you and most of the times it's genetic so before you go online and look at other influencers talk about their skincare routine make sure your skin type is similar to their skin type and you're not just out there like you know taking in anything because it is not completely correct to keep looking at what other influencers do because a lot of the times they're like it's usually sponsored and stuff like that and there's nothing wrong because I'm sure a lot of influencers know what they're talking about but you just need to make sure you have sk similar skin type to them because everyone's skin is different different products work on different skin tones if you have a dermatologist nothing like it but that's not always the most like affordable option so I think the best people to talk about skincare is parents and a lot of the time parents also don't follow skincare because they are a little bit more traditional but yeah just even if you're following influencers advice just make sure they have the same skin type as you and make sure you know when you're following something that is sponsored versus when it's not sponsored okay anyway and before we get into this video one thing i will put out there is that touch wood uh, my mom grew up with clearer skin which is why my skin is clearer but it's not some magic before my period i break out during puberty i broke out a lot so please know that having acne and all these things are normal but taking care of your skin in the way it needs to be taken care of is important for me personally what i do is i use my cellar water to take my makeup out and then i wash my face using any like soap that i find which is not always healthy but it seemed it seemed to have worked for now so i don't want to mess with it but i also feel like later on in life i'm gonna regret not taking care of my skin enough but also i'm also like stuck under the thing where it's like but like if my skin is fine then maybe if i put it into a proper skincare routine then it's gonna get messed up like i have all these weird because i'm also just figuring it out i don't know what the right thing to do is but yeah but i feel like in some ways genetically my skin like looks clear clearer but then it's also the thing is it's also like really dry and all those things so you know i have my own problems with my skin which is why i need to moisturize it a lot but i use different different moisturizers for my skin all the time but yeah uh anyway anyway now going to the video however there is one thing and i don't know if this has worked or not but i feel like i don't know my mom told me this is, this is the way to do it but my like i guess my secret is this it's this is it is it focusing it's her she she is she is she doesn't taste very good but she is my i guess my skincare secret so this is what i call abc abc equals to apple plus banana plus carrot um basically this is an apple banana carrot juice that I've been drinking from a very young age and my mom says it's the secret to beautiful skin and glowing skin and I've believed it my whole life because it's what my mom told me and everybody keeps asking me what's your secret and I'm just like it's this horrible tasting juice but obviously there's more things that go into it like genetics and stuff like that but since so many of you have asked, I figured oh, why not just put it out there. Who knows, maybe it actually does work and my mom is right. But yeah, so growing up, I used to drink this every day. I was forced every evening by my mother. How to make it? Literally, like I said, take apple, beetroot and carrot and blend it all together and chano it and then drink it and do it every day. It might help you. And I've heard also that beetroot is like good for your skin. I don't know why the other two, but it is, it is what I've been having. Cheers. it's not that bad i'm just being dramatic so yeah this has not been a very long video but i figured why not just come out here and tell you guys should i just vlog myself drinking it 
the thing is i grew up like i grew up drinking this and i still never got used to it and it really doesn't taste that bad but because i was that dramatic about it as a kid i feel like it's going to just stick now okay I'm, i shouldn't be dramatic i should just drink it i'm not being able to i swear it doesn't taste that bad like i'm just i just i don't know why i do this to myself this is ridiculous i'm 21 i'm acting like an actual child also I was watching the Kalaba Causeway vlog that I posted and I look so bloody dumb in it like I'm I maybe I shouldn't say these words but but now I understand why people on the internet think I'm so dumb because I appear so dumb and now I'm just like I really don't want to put out the wrong image but I feel like my YouTube community really understands me so I'm just going to roll with it you know she's a little slow but we love her guys man <laughs> I mean I feel like my Instagram community is a little bit harsh but my YouTube community you guys are my OGs like I feel like you guys know more about the like my life than my Instagram community does and I really appreciate it. Okay, we're going to finish drinking this. 321. The last part is really pulpy. It's like in taste of the dana dana. I have to be really careful because I'm sitting on a white carpet. I don't know why I thought my lips would get pinker because I'm drinking this. They should now like when did I not do that as a child when like when you ate beetroot you just put it on your lips. Oh is that just me? I don't know. This is the worst part. The last part is the worst part because it has the most pulp in it and that's gross. I need a burp. Oh. I guess that was a silent one. How do I put this out onto the internet? I don't understand. Like I'm literally here just talking to a camera. Oh, news! Do you all remember me telling you all about my favoriteest artist, Jake? So basically, my favorite art for the favoriteest artist growing up was Bruno Mars, and now my new favoriteest artist is Jake. But obviously, I love Bruno Mars more than anything in the world, and I also love Jake more than anything in the world. But guess what? I am going for a Jake concert soon, and I might vlog it. I'm not sure because I feel like I'm gonna cry so much because I love him so 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 much. I love his music so 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 much, and I'm so excited for it. Okay, I'm just procrastinating. I'm gonna drink this now. Three, two, one, go. We're done. We drank it. It's really not that bad. I promise. Try it out. Try it out for like. Two weeks and let me know if it works. Why don't you try making a YouTube video about it? But if it doesn't work, it's not on me. It's on my mom. You can take it up with her. Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, press the bell icon for sure. I'll see you guys next time for more. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Lots of love.